guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to load all of the sounds and the samples in the Mega Pack onto your Digitact. Now, full disclosure, at the moment of recording this, the transfer app is unable to uh, properly copy over multiple sounds at a time. This is something that Electron Support have acknowledged and they'll be looking to fix in the next update for transfer app. But as of now, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that without running into any problems. Now, the first thing to do is make sure that your Digitact is connected to your computer via USB, and then you're going to go into your settings, system, USB config, and then you're going to select USB MIDI. Once you've done that, you can go to your transfer app and open that up. So here we go. First thing that we're going to do is go to the Explore tab. We're going to select Samples. As you can see, the Mega Pack is already loaded on my machine. If that wasn't the case, then all I would do is I would navigate to the main samples folder, which is this one here, which has all of the drums and all the melodics in it. And I would simply select the folder on my machine where I want to store the samples. In my case, I would have it in the main samples folder. And I would simply drag and drop this here. Now, because my samples are already loaded on the machine, as you can see, it's telling me that the file already exists. So that's not a problem. So now that we know that all of the samples are loaded, we can now move on to loading the sounds. So to do that, we're going to go to sounds, and then we're going to open up the folder that says sounds inside of the Mega Pack. And again, same folder structure, we have all of our drum sounds and our melodic sounds. And these are a one-to-one -one with the samples, apart from the sample chains which only come as a sample, not as a sound. Anyway, going back to our sounds. So here, what transfer is telling us is that we have eight banks of sounds where we can store sounds, and each bank can store up to 256 sounds. So what we're gonna do is gonna select whichever bank that you want to load the sounds in, and we're gonna start dragging them over. Now you can, load a bunch of these up at a time now that we have all of our samples already installed in the machine. So we're going to grab a whole bunch of claps and we're going to start from the first row on bank A and we're just going to drop them in there. Import only missing samples, sure. Import samples to the original file path, doesn't really matter because we've already done that but we're going to select that anyway and we're going to press OK. And here we go, now all of the sounds are being copied over to Bank A. Now obviously this will take some time, uh, it's going to take a few minutes to copy everything over. The one thing to take notice of is that if you're dragging more than the three slots available then it's going to show an error message and you'll have to simply drag over fewer sounds at a time until all of the slots are used up at which point you would then navigate to the next bank. And as you can see, so now you have all the sounds, and if you check in your machine, you'll be able to see all of the sounds loaded up. And that's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a message. All right, thanks for watching.